So I will, when I see a cervical spine X-ray, I always go for a lateral view, which should give me some soft tissue and bony demarcation. When you see a radiograph, you need to document the soft tissue shadow, which is in front of the cervical spine. From C1 to C3, the cervical spine shadow should be less than half of the vertebral body. Uh, below C3, it should be less than the, what, the, the width of the vertebral body. In generally, I mark a line which is called anterior spinal line along the borders of vertebra, vertebras. Then I draw a posterior line and then I also draw a spinal laminar line, which is called Sushwick line. These lines will help me to identify if there is any dislocation or uh, there is any soft tissue shadow. Sushwick line will also help me to exclude pseudo subluxation. If the subluxation is within 2 mm of Sushwick line, then it is pseudo subluxation which can happen due to pharyngeal abscess, Greisel syndrome, and or atraumatic in case of children's because of high ligamentous laxity.